Hi, so we're now back doing a bit of a wrap up on the previous, what, two weeks ago, uh, NASA style circadian lighting setup. Um, we went through the hardware last time around, um, so you should be able to build that up, should you so wish. Um, so now we're on to the software side. Those of you that um, might have seen the earlier Raphael.js setup that I had using the Adafruit RGB LEDs might be familiar with the interface. So we've got uh, a manual color picker over here, just in the, see if I can stick my finger inside the, the screen, just about here. Um, so we can go through and, and select uh, any color we wish on here. Um, you may notice at the moment we've got kind of a blue glow going on. So at the moment we're in our in our alert phase still until I think I've programmed it for about 10 o'clock in the evening or something like that. So we've got a nice blue glow going on at the moment. Um, we're currently in kind of a bit of a debug mode, so it'll actually return to the uh, scheduled state uh, within 30 seconds of pressing a manual override. But that's normally can normally be a bit longer. Um, it's normally measured in minutes, and um, you can shuffle whatever value you want to put in there yourselves. Um, but if we go ahead and select a colour, something a bit different to what we've got on there at the moment, um, you'll notice the first of the new features. If I just go and select green now, you should see that now rather than um, jumping backwards and forwards between colours like a really, really bad disco, um, we actually now just gracefully fade backwards and forwards between the different states. So we go for yellow, let's go to a blue, we should transition straight across the colour wheel through whites into blues. Um, you get the idea. So now we've got a much, much nicer effect as far as uh, colour transitions. So if we stop planning on this for a while, um, you should see that in about 30 seconds time, we'll um, we'll hit the timeout for the manual override period. This will probably normally be maybe a couple of hours or something like that. Um, I have a habit of forgetting that I've left these things on or I've manually overridden stuff so it's nice that it just kind of returns back to the state it was or the state it should be so it can get on with the normal tasks. Um, so we should see sometime now, um, there you go, about now, um, we just start gradually fade back over to our blue setup that we'd, we'd allocated previously. Um, so at the moment this is all done for them, our events are actually kind of hard coded in here, well they're in a, a Python dictionary you can set up there. Um, I'm just doing some work on the next features. Feature additions which would probably be to pull the uh, the scheduling into uh, the actual user interface and do some kind of a, a JavaScript thing, push updates back and forth. Um, this time around rather than having a, I've been through a number of iterations we're building this and now we're actually using uh, something called AB Scheduler um, which is actually quite a nice Python schedule utility um, you can do cron style stuff um, date based stuff I really wanted the cron stuff so I could state I could have particular setups for days of the week so rather than just having to have every morning at seven o'clock you get your slow gradual sunrise as you've got yellow orange lights fade up or something like that um, you can have you can set it so at the weekend it'll come on a bit later um, or um, whatever other little um, nuances you want on any particular day of the week um, one rather important feature I did forget to demonstrate earlier um, was the ability to actually schedule events um, something rather crucial um, so for this demonstration I've um, set up a bit of a fake morning scenario. I'm not very good in the mornings, so I thought I'd do the demonstration now, um, save you my grumpy self. So I've set up uh, our sunrise to come in at 21.53, which should be arriving shortly. I don't know quite how well these are sunk up, but um, you can see 21.52 there, hopefully at 21.53. We should see a bit of action and a slow fade up into a kind of sunrise. And there you go. Maybe it could be a bit slower, but we can um, we can tweak around with those numbers. So there you go. I'm just in the process of doing the write up now. Um, there's a few features I want to add, um, mainly to do with putting the scheduling stuff in the, in the user interface, um, making that a bit easier to use. Um, 
other than that, I think it's kind of kind of there. It's definitely usable at the moment. I've been using it for the last few days. Um, the code's now been uploaded to GitHub, so you can get that there. Um, there'll be a link in the in the write up for that. So um, you've got the hardware for the last from part one, um, and the software from part two. So um, you can go forth and make your own circadian lighting setup.